A couple weeks ago, I hatched out these baby crusted geckos, and I soon realized how delicate these geckos were. Usually, when you buy a crusted gecko, they're already eating on their own and they're established. But when you hatch out your own babies, sometimes you need to teach them how to eat. Oh, what did he say? Oh. Okay, may <laughs> maybe not like that, okay? Like, oh my goodness, why do I always have to be weird? <laughs> But in today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to take care of a baby crusted gecko. That way, if you ever come into a situation where you need to take care of one, at least you know how to properly do it. Now, if you are planning on getting a crusted gecko in the near future, make sure you are getting one that's already established because they can be a little bit tricky when they're super tiny. Like these ones are the size of my thumb. That's how tiny they are. But in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I'm taking care of these crusted geckos. Step number one is getting the proper enclosure for them. Since these geckos are super tiny, they don't require a huge enclosure. What I'll be using are these containers. They hold the humidity pretty well, and they're not super big where the baby feels frightened. When it comes to these setups for these geckos, you wanna keep it fairly simple so you could watch and see how they behave. However, some hiding spots are very important so they feel nice and secure. So what I like to use are these big plants dead in the center, that way they can hide underneath the leaves and they feel nice and safe. Now for substrate, I'll be using these pads that I got from Go for Cocoa. Now these pads are pretty good because they hold the humidity fairly well and they're not that expensive where you could just throw them away in case they get dirty. Now, when you look at the setup, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a container with some substrate and a plant inside of it. Now, some might even call it a little bit cheap, but I, let, me, let me tell you something. We ain't cheap around here, okay? <laughs> but we wanna make sure that these geckos they are nice and secure and that you're watching everything that they're doing that way you know as a keeper that they are eating and that they are even going to the washroom properly and they're not um, sick or anything now if you notice i didn't have a screen lid on top and that's because these geckos they have super tiny hands that sometimes when they get stuck on the screen lid they could even break their fingers so you want to make sure that when you do provide them a lid that you give them something of a clear uh, surface that they don't break their fingers on so i'm just using this container and i did poke some holes that way they can breathe but this way the humidity is in there as well as they don't break their little tiny gecko fingers oh my goodness because not even not even guy cooker saved those okay i'm just saying <laughs> now the most important thing for a growing gecko is their diet now this is where things could get a little bit tricky what I like to feed these geckos is this rapashi mixture, and occasionally I will throw in some super tiny crickets. Now, since they are super small and might not know where the food is, what I like to do is I get a small syringe and I would place some of the food on their nose and I'll watch them lick it off. <laughs> wait, 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 what? What, what did I? Why do I always say things so weird and like with a soft voice and talk? Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> oh my goodness. But you do wanna make sure that they are eating. So getting the syringe and placing it on their nose and just getting them to lick it off is probably one of the most effective ways that I found to, to make sure that they are properly eating their food. Now, these guys, they're super tiny. And as much as I would like to handle them every second of the day, it's important that you let them be and not hold them when they are this size. You don't want them to jump off your hand onto the ground and hurt themselves or get stressed out and lose their tail. Crested geckos have this prehensile tail that grab onto things, but when they do feel stressed out, they will drop it off and they could escape from the predators. Now, you definitely don't want that to happen to your crested gecko where it gets stressed out and it drops its tail. So you wanna make sure that the crested gecko is living stress-free. Now, 
if you notice i don't have any special lightings on my crusted geckos i don't have a heat pad i don't have anything what i normally run them on is just the ambient temperature i keep my room roughly around 75 and that's should be a good amount of heat a good amount of temperature for these crusted geckos to grow nice and big now as you can see the care for these geckos is fairly simple they don't require much like other reptiles do but since they are so tiny and delicate you want to make sure that you are taking proper care of them if you just forget to even miss their enclosure they can dry up and die from that so you want to make sure that if you are planning on getting any of these geckos that you are getting one that's already established and has a little bit um, more life into them that way they can thrive because when they're this tiny they do require a lot of attention to small little details like humidity temperature and making sure that they are eating but once you have the understanding of all that what i notice is that the routine is pretty straightforward they're not super messy that you need to be cleaning their enclosure every second of the day so definitely check out crusted geckos if you are planning on getting a new reptile now if you do already have one let me know in the comment section down below what is your crusted gecko's name i would love to know what you are um, naming your reptiles but i am planning on making more videos about these geckos as well as videos about other reptiles too i do have some ball pythons and i do also have bearded dragon videos that i do want to make in the future as well so if you haven't already be sure to subscribe hit that post notification bell button but with that being said i'm lord of lion that is it for today's video. Keep the blood pumping and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.